Well, I've been involved with 41, about to be 42 FDA approved treatments for cancer di- complications of diabetes and vision loss. And with that kind of success, one of the things that it made me realize was the power of science to generate evidence that something works. And the other thing that I realized is that treating disease was highly valuable, but really misses the mark of preventing the disease in the first place. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Doctor, Lee just highlighted the critical importance of preventing disease before it starts. It's fascinating to consider how our dietary choices can be our first line of defense against many chronic illnesses. But who exactly is Dr. William Lee? Dr. William Lee is an internationally recognized physician, scientist, and author who has dedicated his career to understanding how the foods we eat can influence our health. He's best known for his pioneering work in the field of angiogenesis and for authoring the best-selling book Eat to Beat Disease, which explores how hundreds of different foods can help us combat illness and promote overall well-being. Dr. Lee's research has been groundbreaking in showing us that what we eat can be as powerful as the medicines we take. Now, Dr. Lee is going to delve into the concept of food synergy. This is the idea that certain foods, when paired together, can enhance each other's nutritional benefits, making them even more powerful in promoting health and preventing disease. So stay tuned as Dr. Lee reveals how to make the most out of your meals by combining the right foods for maximum nutrient absorption and health benefits. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Let's take a tomato as a great example. Uh, there are natural substances, natural chemicals, uh, like lycopene. Lycopene is a carotenoid. It helps to make the tomato red. Um, it has lots and lots of healthful properties. It's a powerful antioxidant. I've studied lycopene in a laboratory and it actually can help starve cancers by cutting off the blood supply. Um, it can slow the shortening of telomeres uh, to slow cellular aging. And it, and it can protect our DNA from even sunlight and ultraviolet exposure. Lots of good things about it. Now, lycopene actually is a uh, uh, naturally occurs in a tomato on a vine in a chemical form that our body doesn't absorb that well. So if you pick a tomato off the vine and you cut it up and you throw it into a salad, it might taste great. It's got some vitamin C in it. It's a great source of hydration and great flavors. OK, especially if it's like a homegrown heirloom type of tomato. But you're not going to get the like you're not going to get as much lycopene. You're probably only going to get maybe 20 percent of the lycopene that's in there. But you want it like for me, I want to get as much of the good stuff as I can. So here's what research has found. If you wanted to convert that chemical structure of lycopene into a form that you can absorb better, your body can avidly absorb. What you want to do is you want to heat the tomato like in a pan. And with the heat will change the chemical structure from a form your body doesn't absorb that well into a form that your body avidly absorbs, loves to absorb it. Now you go from 20% absorption to 80% absorption. You flipped, uh, you flipped it around completely, upended that equation completely. Now you're really absorbing it. Now, here's one additional thing though. How would you heat a tomato in a pan? You put heat it in water or nothing? No, not really. You put a little bit of olive oil in it. And why is that? And, and, and it's because lycopene is a substance that we call fat soluble. It's a lipid. It loves to dissolve into fats. So a little bit of olive oil in tomatoes on a pan, sauteed, so it's soft, change of chemical structure, flavors are really great now, and you have that. Now when you uh, eat that tomato sauce, sauteed in olive oil, the oil, the olive oil with the lycopene is carried into your body even more efficiently than if it were cooked in water. And so again, that's that's just one example of thousands of how oils with fat soluble foods. Dr. Lee just explained the remarkable benefits of combining tomatoes with olive oil particularly. He also emphasized the importance of pairing oils with fat soluble foods to maximize their health benefits. It's amazing how simple changes in food preparation and combinations can make such a big difference. To make the most of the health benefits of cooked tomatoes and olive oil, here are some delicious and easy ways to include them in your daily meals. 1. Roasted Tomato and Olive Oil Sourdough Bruschetta For a quick and tasty appetizer, roast cherry tomatoes with a drizzle of. Spoon the roasted tomatoes onto slices of toasted baguette and finish with a sprinkle of fresh basil. It's a simple yet delicious way to boost your intake of cooked tomatoes and healthy fats. 2. Tomato and Olive Oil Soup 
A comforting bowl of tomato soup can be both nourishing and delicious. Start by sauteing onions and garlic in olive oil, then add chopped tomatoes, vegetable broth, and your favorite herbs. Let it simmer and blend until smooth. Pair it with a slice of whole grain bread for a complete meal. 3. Ratatouille This traditional French dish is a great way to combine cooked tomatoes with other nutritious vegetables. Sauté eggplants, zucchinis, bell peppers, and onions in olive oil. Then add tomatoes and let it all cook together. Serve it as a main dish or a side. 4. Shakshuka A Middle Eastern breakfast favorite, shakshuka, is made by poaching eggs in a spicy tomato and pepper sauce. Heat olive oil in a pan, add chopped onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes, and simmer until the flavors meld together. Create small wells in the sauce and crack eggs into them, cooking until the eggs are just set. 5. Baked fish with tomato and olive oil. For a healthy dinner option, try baking fish fillets with a topping of chopped tomatoes. Bake until the fish is cooked through and the tomatoes are tender. This dish is both nutritious and easy to prepare. 6. Caprese salad with a twist. Instead of the traditional fresh tomato caprese salad, try roasting your tomatoes first. Toss them in olive oil, roast until caramelized, then layer them with fresh mozzarella and basil. Drizzle with a bit more olive oil and balsamic vinegar. 7. Tomato and olive oil stir-fry. Incorporate cooked tomatoes into your favorite stir-fry recipes. Sop vegetables like bell peppers, zucchini and onions in olive oil, then add chopped tomatoes and cook until they're soft and integrated into the dish. 8. Olive oil and tomato grilled cheese. Take your grilled cheese to the next level by adding slices of cooked tomatoes inside the sandwich. Brush the outside of the bread preferably sourdough bread for maximum health benefits with olive oil before grilling for an extra crispy and flavorful crust. 9. Tomato and olive oil salad dressing. Make a homemade salad dressing by blending cooked tomatoes with olive oil, vinegar, garlic, and herbs. Use this dressing to add a burst of flavor and nutrition to your salads. Now, Dr. Lee is going to delve into another powerful food combination, guacamole and salsa. These delicious pairings not only add flavor to your meals, but also enhance nutrient absorption and provide a wide array of health benefits. Let's hear more from Dr. Lee on how to make the most out of these popular foods by combining them in ways that optimize their nutritional potential. You have these tortilla chips and then you wind up actually having a salsa and guacamole. The salsa, salsa is often sort of stewed down tomatoes, uh, cooked down tomatoes, served at room temperature or chilled. And then the guacamole is just avocado that's been smashed up. Now, avocado has a lot of healthy fats in it. Uh, it's, it's, it's a fat-soluble veggie. It's actually quite uh, nutritious. Uh, and remarkably, uh, people eating avocado actually shrink their waistline because actually, it, even though they're eating fat, it actually makes you, it burns down harmful fat. It's a whole other story that we had. But if you have guacamole, avocado with tomatoes, you get more lycopene. And so that happens to be kind of a popular snack uh, in yeah. the United States. It pairs perfectly. Doctor, Lee just shared some fascinating insights into how guacamole can help shrink your waistline and how salsa, with its rich tomato content, packs a powerful nutritional punch. It's incredible to see how these flavorful foods can contribute to our health in such meaningful ways. Next, Dr. Lee will discuss another potent food pairing, black pepper and turmeric. This combination is particularly powerful because black pepper significantly increases the absorption of curcumin, the active compound in turmeric. Let's learn more about how this dynamic duo can maximize the benefits of turmeric and enhance our overall health. Turmeric is curcumin. Curcumin is one of those natural chemicals, kind of like lycopene. It's one of those Mother Nature's treasure chest, Mother Nature's pharmacy with an F, not a PH. And the, 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 the curcumin has a lot of properties, anti-inflammatory, it's antioxidant, it cuts off the blood supply feeding cancers. Um, it uh, uh, actually is helpful for your stem cells as well. It's, it really activates almost all of your body's health defenses and it's good for your gut microbiome. So why not just you know enjoy turmeric as a spice by itself? Because it's so potent that our body actually doesn't absorb everything that it could. In fact, our body kind of, uh, it kind of gets, a lot of it gets flushed out, you know, uh, at the tail end. And so what we want to do to improve our body's extraction of the good, um, the good stuff, the, the turmeric, it turns out that if you have fresh cracked black pepper, 
All right. There's a substance in fresh cracked black pepper called piperine. Yeah. Piperine is one of Mother Nature's, um, uh, again, you know, these remarkable chemicals that actually uh, in, influences the body. And piperine helps the body hang on to the curcumin. So if you have fresh cracked black pepper with your turmeric, uh, you, you're actually creating a one two punch that allows you to absorb more of the curcumin. Congrats to the perfect pair. <laughs> Dr. Lee just enlightened us on the powerful synergy between black pepper and turmeric, explaining how black pepper can significantly boost the absorption of curcumin, the active compound in turmeric. This remarkable pairing not only enhances the benefits of turmeric, but also maximizes its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Turmeric and black pepper are a dynamic duo when it comes to boosting health. The piperine in black pepper enhances the absorption of curcumin, the active compound in turmeric making their combination incredibly powerful. Here are some delicious and easy ways to incorporate turmeric and black pepper into your daily meals. Turmeric Black Pepper Salad Dressing Make a vibrant and healthy salad dressing by whisking together olive oil, apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of turmeric, a pinch of black pepper, honey, and Dijon mustard. Drizzle this over your favorite salads for an extra kick of flavor and health benefits. 2. Turmeric and Black Pepper Roasted Vegetables Coat your favorite vegetables with olive oil, a teaspoon of turmeric, and a pinch of black pepper before roasting them in the oven. This works well with carrots, cauliflower, potatoes, and Brussels sprouts, making for a nutritious and flavorful side dish. 3. Turmeric Black Pepper Soup Enhance your soups with this powerful combo. When making a soup, whether it's chicken, vegetable, or lentil, add a teaspoon of turmeric and a pinch of black pepper along with your other seasonings. This adds depth of flavor and boosts the soup's health benefits. 4. Turmeric Scrambled Eggs Spice up your breakfast by adding a pinch of turmeric and black pepper to your scrambled eggs. Simply whisk the spices into the eggs before cooking. This adds a subtle flavor and a golden hue to your morning meal. Turmeric and Black Pepper Hummus Give your hummus a twist by blending in a teaspoon of turmeric and a pinch of black pepper along with the other ingredients. This brightens up the hummus and provides an additional health kick. Serve with fresh vegetables or pita bread. 6. Turmeric Black Pepper Stir Fry Add a teaspoon of turmeric and a pinch of black pepper to your stir fry sauce. Whether you're using soy sauce, tamari, or another favorite sauce, this combination enhances the flavors of the vegetables and proteins while adding anti-inflammatory benefits. 7. Turmeric and Black Pepper Roasted Nuts Create a healthy snack by roasting nuts with a mixture of turmeric, black pepper, and a little bit of oil. Spread the nuts on a baking sheet, sprinkle with the spice mixture, and roast until golden and fragrant. These make for a perfect on-the-go snack. These are just a few ways to seamlessly incorporate turmeric and black pepper into your diet. By making these small changes, you can enjoy delicious meals while taking advantage of the powerful health benefits of these spices. Stay tuned as we continue to explore more nutritious and tasty food combinations. Next, Dr. Lee will shift his focus to another category of health-boosting beverages, teas. From green tea to herbal infusions, teas offer a wealth of benefits, from enhancing metabolism to providing a rich source of antioxidants. Let's dive into the world of teas and discover how they can support our overall health and well-being. Tea, green tea uh, especially, has a natural polyphenol that's called catechins, EGCG, uh, uh, epigallocatechin gallate, uh, EGCG. And the, and the catechin is actually just part of the natural substance in the tea leaf. So whether you're um, a brewing tea with a bag or whether it's loose leaf tea or whether it's matcha, which is just powdered tea leaves, um, the fact of the matter is that into the brew, into the liquid, the hot liquid, uh, comes all these phytochemicals, including these catechins. So when you sip straight tea, the catechins go right in, they're easily absorbed um, by your body. And so, you know, your, our blood levels of catechins go way up. So many things that catechins can do. One of the things that's important is actually, it's, it's a relaxant. It actually helps lower your stress. It lowers the catecholamines. And so uh, other things that helps your lipids, it actually also helps fight cancer, it's anti-inflammatory, kind of like curcumin. It's, it's a substance that has so many beneficial things that at least when I drink tea, I want, I want to get as much as I can out of my food. All right, now, I, res I deeply respect traditions of yeah, of eating and drinking. And one of the things that um, you know I know is a tradition in England is you know you put or in Ireland you actually put some milk or cream into your tea. It actually 
um, changes the flavor profile, uh, and and it's lovely. I, I you know I've I've had plenty of teas in England before, and and I I, I find it to be just such an uh, incredibly um, uh, nice. I feel great, you know, sort of like having uh, an English uh, tea. Put dairy in it. Here's what you need to know: dairy, and I'm talking about cow dairy, right? So not 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 milk. This is applies to cow dairy. We'll come back to the nut milk in a second. Cow dairy, okay, actually is fat. Milk has got fat in it, like butter, which is made out of milk. And um, and the fat, when you put it into your tea, does change its flavor. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about the fact that when milk or cream is put into tea, the fat molecules in the cow dairy form little soap bubbles. These are microscopic soap bubbles. They're called micelles. Fat likes to stick with fat. And so um, tea is mostly water. And so when you pour milk into tea, the, the bubbles, the, the dairy fat sticks together and a little makes a little tiny soap bubble. And what does it do? Those soap bubbles trap the polyphenols from tea. It traps the catechin. So you've got some good stuff wrapped in a soap bubble of, of dairy. And now when you drink the tea, the catechin is trapped in the soap bubble. It doesn't get absorbed as easily in your stomach, and it just rolls down your gut, and a lot of it comes out the other end. Okay, and so you're missing out on a lot of the good stuff. You get a great, you know, you get a nice flavor. And so I have, you know, what I'm telling you is that if you're drinking uh, milk uh, or, or cow milk dairy, put it in your tea, you're, you're getting the, you're getting good flavor. If you if that's what you like, but you're missing out on all as as most of the uh, polyphenols. So just be aware that that's what you're actually doing. Now, if you want to actually still cut the tea with something that is uh, milk-like, nut milks are fine because they don't actually have the same fatty reaction that the wow. dairy cow dairy has. So almond milk, uh, cashew milk, um, uh, those those soy milks, they're all fine. And would you please pass the coconut milk? Dr. Lee just shared with us the incredible health benefits of teas, emphasizing the rich traditions that surround these ancient beverages. He also highlighted how these traditions play a crucial role in maintaining and enhancing the health properties of teas. In addition, Dr. Lee offered some valuable advice on using nut milks as a dairy replacement, which not only caters to those with lactose intolerance, but also provides a nutritious and tasty alternative. Next. Dr. Lee will be discussing another important topic, the impact of dietary patterns on long-term health. Let's hear how we can incorporate these insights into our daily lives for a healthier future. Okay, so longevity means not only having more birthdays, but also having good quality of life along the way, right? So we want a good, healthy lifespan, not just a long lifespan. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching, and as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.